Hey, Honeycomb Brazy got to serve the entire remaining of the 15 years, gang. Honeycomb Brazy, if y'all don't know, man, when he just lost his grandparents and the house got burned after the shots or whatever, Honeycomb Brazy went out of control. I'm going to say allegedly. I don't want dog to get in trouble. Allegedly, he went to get that get back because he was actually caught during a shootout situation and, and, and violating because he got caught with weapons too. So it was a lot of violations and shit like that. So they didn't even let the man go to his grandparents' funeral. He was locked up during the whole time. He's still locked up. And now they're, you know what I'm saying? They're, re they're releasing information to say, you know, we're going to hold him and revoking his probation. So he's, I didn't even know the nigga was on probation. Can we all be real? All this shit that Honeycomb was doing out here and saying on the interviews, gang, I didn't know this nigga was on probation the whole time, bruh. My thing is, I've been around steppers and real ones in my family and all that. Certain way you got to act, gang, when you on in papers, bruh. Certain things he was doing and saying, and I'm like, the whole time you had that type of bag on you, bruh. And I ain't talking about the get back, but the, the, the folks in them on you like that, my nigga, 15 years is a lot. You niggas can act like he'll be all right. Nigga, this is game over if he don't find a way to get out of that situation. First of all, free that man Honeycomb Brazy, bruh. You know, some of his ops hit me up on that dumb rah-rah shit. Hey, man, you gonna have to take that video down. Fuck you, nigga. Everybody and their mama should protect grandparents out there. So if you want a honeycomb brazy ops, nigga, get the fuck on, bro. Like, not, and if you want of his ops, you ain't said nothing to me, salute to you. But that's corny as hell to try to put pressure on me because I did a video talking about leave grandparents alone. You got to be some type of demon monster out here and you get no cool points for that. Now, let's get back to Honeycomb Brazy. My nigga, 15 years, my nigga, all these niggas that was rocking with you, you seen when your grandparents died who was really with you or not because the waves started getting away. Niggas was like, you bringing too much type of baggage. Folks in them keep hitting you. I kept saying, when was it cool to be the nigga that keep getting shot at? Shout out the battle rap that taught me that. I'm just being funny, but... It's real shit, though, bro. Like, when was it cool for niggas keep skirting back and hitting you up? Nigga, that shit ain't funny, nigga. You might have the kids with you one day. For the family, somebody, you see what happened with grandmama and grandpa. That shit is not funny, bro. Free that man, honeycomb brazy. But can we be real and ask ourselves, what fucking situation you put yourself in? Free him, free her, free... But goddamn, bro, what if you a dumbass sometimes, bro? Nigga... You knew you got this type of bad, bro. Moving silent, bro. What happened to that? Oh, I, I forgot, bro. It ain't cool no more to be the niggas that we don't know what they got going on. It ain't cool no more to be the nigga that look like the lame nigga, but secretly he the coolest nigga on the planet of the earth. You don't like going that way no more. Everybody got to let everybody in the world know what it is. Who you killed, who you robbed, who you, who, who you got plugged in with, what the network looking like. God damn, nigga. If you gotta do all that to get girls to like you and fuck you, nigga, sign me out, bro. I don't wanna be part of that go get along, bro. You know what part of go get along these rappers are in now? The prison and the jail go get along. You youngsters wanna be like these rap niggas out here? They part of a new group, bro. The go get along, and ain't the one Kwame Brown talking about. You know, put the shackles on and go get along somewhere else, my nigga. For the rest of your life type shit. 15 years for a rapper is career ending. All these other niggas gonna cap a lot and act like this ain't nothing serious. It is, bro. Like, Fujiano gotta serve the remaining sentence and he gotta do five years. That's a lot. People are like, Fujiano's gonna be all right. I think he's gonna be somewhat all right. But the wave that he had, I don't think he's gonna be okay the way he is if he don't find a way to cut that five-year sentence short. Five years to a rap career ain't what you think it is. Little Boosie, when he came home during that five years to six years, what, look, look at his career now. Look at Boosie's career. Rap is fake, my nigga. Don't fall for the facade. These fans ain't gonna be behind you when you come home. In five years, nigga, it's gonna be like a thousand brand new rappers to the point you're gonna be pushed on a back burner where niggas forget about you. That, that ain't a lie, my nigga. That baby mama song might not even be lit in five years from now. I'm just being real. You didn't give it time to season. You got to season the song first. Then you go go sit your ass in jail, prison, or whatever it is. But if the song ain't seasoned yet, it is, I don't care how lit and hot it is. 
Motherfuckers gonna forget it, bro. We see in this industry it come and go. Honeycomb Brazy coming from them bad trenches. He told us South Hall was a snitch. I don't know if South Hall and them had snitched on him or what, but South Hall ran from prison. He's one of the biggest dope niggas out there, allegedly. And now he got caught and he's locked up again. It's a lot of niggas like South Hall and them who got bags on Honeycomb Brazy head. I'm talking about trying to stain this man, bro. Bags on bags on bags. So what's going on? What's the conclusion of Honeycomb Brazy? And he gonna be in a situation, he gonna come free, he gonna... Bro, they gonna look at everything he's been involved in. All the involvements of shootings, even if he ain't the one who pulled the trigger, even if he's the victim. They gonna be like, this nigga's a danger to society. Look at his uncles, look at his pops. I mean, nigga, when you lose your grandma and grand, um, uh, granddad like that, my nigga, and it goes viral... I know people gonna be thinking the state wanna get justice for Honeycomb, hell nah. First of all, the state look at, we got two innocent elderly people who got murdered. It makes the state look bad, politics gotta get involved. So now they look at the grandson and say, he's so dangerous out here, he was even a danger for his own family members. Cause remember the mom house got shot up. She's on the news, showing all this, and I sit, I remember I like, damn, ain't Honeycomb still locked up? This ain't going to be good for him to beat whatever he's beating right now. And remember, the charges he got, he's still facing that right now. Why they revoked his probation or whatever. Why he got to serve the 15 years, he might get more years added to that. I don't think you niggas paying attention, is you? So when the mom is on the news and, oh, this house got shot up here and all that, it looks good if you're a regular civilian. But if you're honeycomb brazy, bro, it's a bad situation for you, my nigga. Everything about your moves have been an exploitation of how people, like, you, you're you not embarrassed, my nigga, to, to say what you've been through and all that. All the interviewers are exploiting it for the views and all that. It looked good. Now you got to go in front of that fucking magistrate. That, that district attorney come in there, prosecuting teams, and the prosecutors got their package already, and they don't even have to go to trial. They go, you're on a press play. Say Chief's interview. Boom. Or this interview, boom. Or your Instagram, boom. Your music videos, boom. The viral videos, boom. Like, God damn, shit, we ain't even go to the dead ones yet. Come on, bro. Like, and, and, and Jay Prince and them don't need this type of... I think Jay Prince put a lot of money behind you, bro. You said certain slick things about Jay Prince, too, that I fell back from. And I'm still not going to... I ain't going to get into that. I ain't going to get into that. And I know it's about J. Prince Jr. and y'all. Y'all had a little back and forth on the Instagram. I still didn't promote that. I don't like seeing that. I like seeing street niggas win, bruh. Because if a street nigga win, my kids don't got to worry about the violence in the neighborhood no more. If everybody get in that bag, everybody wins. But you getting tricked out your position like this, gang? How the fuck the doors opened in for you when you came home? And you found a way, my nigga, to kick yourself out of that winning position, my nigga. Niggas dream to be in y'all shoes. And you niggas, all you rappers find a way to kick it out. Now, it's going to be somber news everywhere. Brazy is gone. Honeycomb Brazy ain't like... It sounds good. It sounds good. Where was the folks in them saying, Brazy, slow down? I remember when he was out here being hot. I did like multiple videos saying, Brazy, we love you, bruh. Not that genuine love. I'll be fake as if I mean it. But as far as we love the music, we love your energy. But slow down, my nigga. And folks and them told me, oh, he'll be straight. Don't do not do that energy on us. Shut up, bruh. You know, hip hop's so fake. It's crazy. I know what everybody's going to say to me. I know the criticism, all that. It's like they're on a computer chip. These niggas ain't even robots no more. Bama going crazy right now. I ain't going to cap. Bama going crazy right now, bro. Bama ain't one of them places you go playing around with, bro. Shout out to everybody in Alabama. It's sad, bro. It ain't it ain't good news to see that. What about the guys? They still trapped up in the hood, and you was going to be the money man. Now these niggas might not even make it. Let me knock on wood and don't wish that, but we know money can protect you to a certain extent, bro. With no bags coming in for the gang, 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 gang. I know they got other ways of getting money, but is it enough to get them out? All them bags being dropped on motherfuckers, educational purpose, you know what? It's still beef in there. Just because you locked up don't mean the war stops. When you the general or whatever it is or the, the final resource for that team, my nigga, they got you. It's game over, bro. But the war ain't over. Niggas going to be picking off educational purpose, each one of you niggas, one by one. This is a huge blow. 
This is one of them things that got people feeling sick right now, and that's what I see. Free that man honeycomb brazy. I say that authentically, bro. I really mean that. That's a lot to go to and wear on your shoulders, bro. You lost grandmama and granddad, and you can't get a get back like you want to. It got to eat you. It, it, that alone got to destroy you up in there, bro. You hear me? That alone got to destroy the fuck out of a nigga, bro. I did all this, and now grandmama and them ain't here no more. Granddad ain't here, and I can't get back. And I got 15 years, bro. 15, bro. He been sitting down since he was like 13 to now. And, and, and I can't use that as an excuse for people no more, bro. Like, it's honeycomb brazy. If you don't find a way to get out of prison within the next two to three years, folks ain't going to remember you. And that's the truth. Niggas ain't going to remember all the good songs you did, your energy, because you ain't even been seasoned yet. Keep trying to tell me, rapper, there's level to this for real, and I ain't speaking no Meek Mill shit. It's a lot of levels to this. It's a lot. Look, man, I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another I Smoke Hip Hop Live video. Love your family, love your kids, stay blessed. We over here with The Rock, man. And we ain't talking about Rock Live Familia, The Rock. Man, we part of the Stay Solid game. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the Rock over here, man. Stay solid and these shits won't happen to you, bro. It is what it is, man. Salute.